No Jumper, coolest podcast in the world. And today I'm bringing you the most important conversation that we could possibly be having. My man Holly TV in here. Yes, sir. And we got that. Don? No, no, Don, no, no, Don, no, no. Uh, I told you. Uh, that's your sponsor. <laughs> I'm still trying to get mine. You valid. I ain't gonna lie. The long dress is okay. It's okay? good? It's a, it's a, I ain't gonna lie. I, I cheated a shot. See, I be drinking it, but I'm not like an expert yeah, to the level nah, that yeah, you yeah. are, so I don't know. It's definitely Don. It's Don. <laughs> it ain't Julio, but it's Don. I appreciate that. <laughs> I'm Holy jacking shit. that. I'm jacking the liquid Don in there, too. Like I, I, I can't even remember. Who brought that for me the other day? The little Don Julio that I, I refused to drink. I forget. Nah, yeah, that's crazy. Though. Bro. That's fire. Now you've been showing mad love, no, Adam. I, I have. We, we've everybody. talked about your shit and sang the song yeah. on so many different episodes. Yeah, we, and it's crazy because like when I sang it to Roddy mm, Rebel, yeah. I knew I knew instantly that yes. he was gonna get it, and he's just and I'm just, just like, yo, mind it. you, I watched the interview, and the moment I turned it off was probably the part where you where he started saying it. Really? Yes. Mm. I'm like, that's crazy. The nigga started tagging me in it crazy. I'm like, that's fire. I'm like, he's way too Brooklyn to not know about. Yeah, the song he right gotta now. know about yeah. the lick all done. Dan, Dan. I grew up around all them guys, so for me, mm. they watching for sure. Okay, yeah, hit me with a little bit of the history. Where exactly in Brooklyn are you from? And, and okay. tell me a little bit about your upbringing. Hell yeah, so I grew up in Brooklyn, East New York, for me. Uh -huh. Like a little Brownsville, a little everywhere, like a little Crown Heights, a little Flatbush, but I've been living in East New York my whole life. Feel okay. Me? Like real shit, like close to Pennsylvania Strip, like you know, mm -hmm. feel me type shit. So yeah, I was just a regular kid, feel me. My mom is Caribbean, Guyanese, my father African. Mm -hmm. He wasn't really around a lot. Film, you know, African fathers have life different. For me, they got life differently set up for them. What do you stuff mean? Like that, like they, they don't I feel stick like, around. I, I feel like it's not that they don't stick around, but they got their whole life planned out for them before they even know what they want to do. Really? Like if they from Africa, like they already married, they already got family, kids, all type. Your of stuff. dad was already married before he had you. He yes. had a whole separate family. Yes, and mind oh, you, I, I'm just finding this out like two years ago. Really? Yeah, it's, it's heavy. So it's like. Everything happens for a reason, you know, for me, it's like, you don't never know, but it's like, you always, I'm just a forgiving person, I don't care, I don't oh, ever uh, think about that shit being crazy. How many brothers and sisters? Yo, my father got like six sons. Oh, shit, okay. My mother got like um three sons and one daughter, so okay. I only got one sister. So it's kind of hectic growing up. Yeah, not, not, not really, we don't all live together. The sons is all in Africa. Oh, all right. I never met none of them. Oh, okay. Me? Hell yeah, so I live with like three of my siblings right now. We gotta take this dawn wave mm -hmm. all the way to Africa. Definitely, they going crazy over there. They're they are. They going mad crazy. Really? So I definitely want to fly over there. I got my passport. I'm just waiting for the perfect time. I feel like I've gotten a much better idea of what it would be like to live in these little ass villages mm -hmm. in Africa and shit. Because on yet. TikTok and Instagram reels, there's all these dudes they just be making it look lit. showing what their day-to-day -day life yes. is like. And it seems like hard, but they're definitely making the best. I feel like I'm doing exactly what they're doing. I'm just mm -hmm. going outside every day and doing stuff. <laughs> That's what they do. They go outside every day and they do stuff. Like I feel like it's in my blood to do that. So it's like... It tracks, you feel me? It right. kind of tracks. So if I go over there, I know I don't got to worry about mad stuff that they don't got to worry about. They don't got to worry about bills for real. Like uh -huh. a lot of the stuff that we got to worry about in our like environment or society, yeah. they don't got to think about. So they probably mad free. Like mm. they really got mad freedom and peace. Yeah. And everybody think they really struggling. Mm. And it's like, it's better to have less type of thing. Okay. You feel me? It's crazy. But so you said Brownsville. I spent okay. a little bit of time in Brownsville. How long? <laughs> Who he was with? Like an afternoon. Okay. Who he was with? There's a BMX riding in black. Man, okay, aka Desmond Rhodes, Brooklyn okay. legend. I probably, I probably, I went out there. And there was a Dunkin' Donuts, and I filmed him doing a crazy ass rail hop mm -hmm. on his BMX bike. Okay, never went back. You be riding BMX? I used to. Okay, no mind for rag bikes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Brooklyn guys are crazy BMX. Nah, history. Definitely, definitely. Greatest East Coast BMX rider of all time, Edwin De La Rosa. Okay, I'm gonna have to research him. Okay. All I know about bikes is we used to steal them. We love stealing bikes. Mm. We love stealing bikes, and we love. Riding mad deep on bikes. That Pulse. first dude I mentioned, Pulse. black man. Yeah. One time I went to a crib that he was saying that, mm -hmm. like thirty stolen bikes in the hallway. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's like when I was like young, it was like twenty eight, two thousand and eight. Mm -hmm. Everybody was stealing bikes. Oh yeah. Now everybody be mobbing on the bikes. They just be outside doing wheelies and going crazy. <laughs> is, yeah, that's is your ringtone. ringtone is you. <laughs> Hello, yo. Everybody think that's me. Look, I bought it from the Apple Store. It's saying oh. Hello. Oh, okay. I thought it was the Don song. Hello. That would be a good idea. It's good, right? If this was 2008, you already would have done that. It, no, people are already doing it. That's oh, okay, why I yeah, even yeah. think of it. I'm like, yeah, let them let them have their fun. Ringtones just aren't what they used to be. They're not. They mm. last too long. Oh, that's a good point. We need a good loop. Yeah. You could probably trim it down. But but we needed the loop. Yeah. We need that loop, that good loop that lasts forever. I think it'd be funny if it was just Don. 
Don, don, like it didn't don, even get don, going. Don, it was don. just a down. Yeah. <laughs> or it just keep going. Julio, Julio, oh, yeah, Julio, too. Julio. Fire. Well, oh, man. I have so, many, so many things about that song I want to discuss. But Okay, so coming up out there, mm-hmm. you just going to school, you have a pretty normal life, or are yeah. you sucked into some crazy shit at any point? I ain't gonna point? lie, like... I feel like I was never sucked into no crazy shit. I was a curious kid. Mm-hmm. It's like a lot of people never understand the fact that they was just curious. So you got yourself into mad stuff. Uh-huh. Feel me? You just got to know how to get yourself out. Mm-hmm. I feel like I was always good at that. Feel me? No matter what I got myself into or what I got myself like, like if I got myself into something really deep, I definitely could get myself out of it. Mm-hmm. Like for sure. Without having to tell my mom or something. Kids who grow up in out. New York, from yeah. my experience, have like the greatest survival skills Yo, and like ability to problem solve and figure I shit out. to God, because you're not supposed to be outside, but that's where you want to be. Yeah. So it's like being outside, you see so much that they trying to, like your parents trying to keep you away from. Yeah. And that's not a bad thing, but it's like the faster you learn in New York, the better you are for yourself. Kids the better you New- are for everybody. Kids in New York will be like six years old, taking mm-hmm. the subway. Literally. Like it's no big deal. Literally. Their parents the have bad. to teach the girls Hey, you can't walk down the street without a million mother trying to yeah. holler at you and kidnap you and Literally. shit. So you got to teach your kids how to navigate that. You got to teach the kids how to stay out the streets, like yes. on some gangster shit. Definitely, it's like one of the it's, craziest places it's to really, grow up. It's really not what you say; it's how you say it. So yeah. it's like once you teach them in the most like responsible way, it's easy. Cause mm. my mom did it for me. She taught me stuff. I still like. Learn my lesson by not listening, but it's mm. like once it's stuck, you like, yeah, I okay. know what's going on. But so you were outside, but you're also doing all right in school. Yeah, or? I'm doing good in school. Only thing I'm doing bad in school is just being a loud troublemaker or not a troublemaker, but like a class clown. I could kind of see that. You feel me? Yeah. You finish your work early, you want to bother everybody. You feel me? You want to help people when you're not supposed to. Right. You feel me? Come to school late. Like, mm. I ain't really do nothing too crazy. I right. just was kind of school, come to school late. Still graduated okay. high school. You feel me? Went to college, dropped out. Signed myself out. Really? For me. So, yeah, I was I was doing good. I ain't gonna lie. We was just having fun all okay. our life, doing craziness. So you were always kind of like the way that we see you nowadays, yeah. where it's like you have a very fun vibe. You're always about lie. a good party. Yeah, it's like, I'm just like, I, I'm with the shits. Right. I'm a good-hearted person. I'm just with the shits. Everybody know me as that, for mm. sure. But that never got you in trouble, like outside of the school shit, in terms of like, you know, do, be trying to be funny with the wrong person? Or nah, anything? yeah, definitely. But it's like, it's that's what I said. You gotta, once you live in New York, you learn how to handle everything like you and if you don't it's survival instincts Hmm. so it's like all i'm thinking is i'm going home today i'm definitely going home today Hmm. and then it's either it get worse or it get better like in a positive way for Mm -hmm. me and that's the most way to go toward it bro like you can't really stop everything like you can't control everything so it's like some shit you just gotta be ready for for Mm -hmm. me type shit that's how new york is you gotta be ready for it but so you dropped out of uh, college why Cause I was going for like I wanted to be a teacher, but I still was doing content. Like I've been doing content since like 2010. Okay, feel me. So I was always doing content, always making videos, always wanted to be an actor, mm. stuff like that. Was always in the movies, but I dropped out because I was going to be a teacher, and I was going for like I never, I didn't choose business or anything. My teacher told me go to college, you should do it. Choose this, boom. So that's why I just left. Like the school I was in wasn't for me. Uh huh. Shit. Okay. Uh, yeah. So you just weren't with it but like in terms yeah. of the content what did you start with because like i was always doing like comedic skits and stuff like we used to when i say troublemaker like we used to be like you know hood news basically uh-huh. so like when stuff would happen in the um in the hood with like one of the littest scammers or one of the littest people on facebook and it's like some crazy shit we would make like a parody to it no matter how uh-huh. bad it is how crazy it is we gonna make like it's it's a funny version to every story right no matter how vulgar it is feel me and that's just how mine was as kids like for me so that's how it started on facebook we was making content on facebook just on some hood shit first, having math fun, going crazy. Uh-huh. And then that's when it started sticking like, oh yeah, we got to keep doing Who were you influenced, influenced by? Who were you looking at? I ain't gonna lie. It was like, I ain't gonna lie. I've always been like this since young. Like I was watching Kevin Hart movies. I was watching mad movies. I wasn't supposed to be watching as young. Mm. Like stuff like that. Like Friday, all type of shit. Like I could show you my phone right now. There's movies in my phone I bought like 20 years ago. Really? And it's like at least a hundred. So I seen a hundred movies I wasn't supposed to even see <laughs> at the age of 11 type shit. Really? Real shit. How are you getting them? Where are you buying them on? Apple store. Oh, you just buy them on there. Okay. Yes. And I had an iPad. So I was getting right. My mom's <laughs> car was always coming in clutch. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm going to watch this today. I'm mm. going to watch this today. 
feel me? But it's really like, I was just influenced by movies and stuff like that. Like when I got toys, I would like recreate like stuff with my imagination. Like if I'm playing with my toys, like I'm imagining all this movie stuff happening while mm. I'm playing with the toys, feel me? So then you see people start making content and, and you're like, like, holy oh, yeah, shit, that's what I want to do. Definitely. Yeah. So Capri, Shiggy, and there's some other guy named Nixon. I forgot his name, but he's from years ago. Like he's from down south too. But I seen them when I was mad, mad young. Low key, mom too. I ain't gonna front. And it was over. I'm like, yeah, I'm doing my own thing with my friends type shit. Hold I was on. doing my own thing first. Then me and my son Trippy started going crazy. Then in high school, me and my son Rich started going crazy. Then it, it just became like a us thing. So everybody knew, oh yeah, they around, we in their content type mm. shit. And it's just like a vibe. Right. It's crazy because like the way you're describing <laughs> that, 2010, that's like 14 years right. of working your ass off and to finally get. That's crazy. Yeah. Because I really, really started in 2012. 2010 was when I was trying to figure it out. Like mm. just posting little stuff like like a kid. You feel me? Like you just a kid just posting stuff on your social media. You're not supposed to have like MySpace or your mom bought you a camera for Christmas. You're doing funny, stupid stuff in it. Mm -hmm. Then I started really posting my shits like in 2012 2013 mm. and then ever since i've been doing so that. when i look at your youtube channel and i can only see content go back like five years mm -hmm. is that because you cleansed it of all the old shit or is that just like front that was on different channels I or different definitely platforms definitely cleanse some of it some of it is lost forever on facebook mm. a lot of it is on different platforms now got right? it so yeah the stuff that go way back you can find on youtube you saw some uh -huh. and facebook is gone Really? Like me, Trippy, and Rich had the craziest Facebooks, but they got punched. Really? They that ass punched. What them. were you doing? No, we was we was just like that was before there was meta monetization, all of that. So it wasn't really like no security guidelines for. Oh it. yeah. So when it started happening and people started reporting certain videos for certain stuff or trying to hack our pages, it was that easy to get us out of there. Yeah. Yeah. Damn, that's a so shame. It's that crazy. There's like, like good money to be made on Facebook, but it's like impossible to look through it. And I ain't shit. gonna lie. Now. It's fake. If you post reels every day, you Gucci. Like on ads. If you monetize and you post reels, you Gucci. Uh -huh. But then it's still slow. Like that's why you gotta post every day. Yeah. Cause every other day is gonna take bread away and then track to the new month. Right. Yeah, it's Definitely. crazy. So what was the first shit you ever had go viral? Like the first thing that felt viral for you at a young age? Okay. So as a kid, I did that's when Designer came out. He did Timmy, Timmy, Timmy Turner. Mm -hmm. Him and then I did a video like that. And it ended up in mad compilations everywhere. Mm. So I, that to me, that was like the most craziest part for real, for real. Mm. A lot of people would say the barbershop video, though. Which one? You know was what that? that is? So the barbershop video. Oh, I think I've seen it. <laughs> That's the one I was sitting in the chair, You're yelling waiting about to get your my haircut, hair yeah. Cut, yeah, and the barber <laughs> over here talking like, "Yeah, the gal them that come last night, them getting crazy gal drinks, all type of thing, and you one there." So I'm looking at these niggas, and I'm like, "Yo, bro." Cut my hair, bro. What's going on? Y'all over here talking to him. He talking to me, talking to him. I'm messing up and all that. That's how that's how organic I was trying to keep the video. Right. I didn't know what I was going to do, but I'm like, yo, bro, record this real quick. Because I'm like, yo, they not cut my hair. So I'm just like, let me just freestyle, go crazy. Uh -huh. And I'm just talking to them, talking to them, talking to them. And I'm like, blood clot, gal, damn drinks, ah, huh, type of thing. <laughs> cut my hair type shit. <laughs> feel me? And that's the shit that really like, that was 2019 viral. Like mm. that's the shit that really like put me on the map for a lot of people. Right. I ain't gonna lie. Yo, it's crazy. Honestly, that when you take your hat off, like when you put the hat on, yeah. your head looks totally normal. And yes. then you take it off and it's like, Oh, that's yeah. an avant-garde ass is, head. Yeah. It's cause I got no haircut right now, but yeah, y'all gotta <laughs> see it like live in the flesh. It's not big. It's little and long. It's just got a whole different thing going exactly. on. Exactly. Yeah. It got a little loops. You feel me? My shit wavy. Yeah. Hey, what do people get? up about you know caribbean people and people who come over here from africa like i see a lot of like wars online mm -hmm. between the foundational black americans mm -hmm. and more recent immigrants like like how do you view that because in brooklyn obviously yeah. that's just like everywhere i ain't gonna lie bro in brooklyn it's a lot of yankees i'm a yankee what's a yankee <laughs> Wait, what's a yankee a yankee is like a person that's caribbean but they didn't grow up there or was born there okay yeah, so yeah. you could be grown up there but if you wasn't born there you're black. Like, I'm right. black, but I jack um, Guyanese and Guinean mm. because, like, that's my tradition. That's my culture. Like, that's how I was raised. That's how I act. Because you moved here when you were so young that you don't really have memories of that? No, right. I never lived. I didn't. Oh, you never lived I, there, right. I, okay. I, I've been there, like, twice. But if you grow up in a 
household, the yeah. Guyanese or whatever. So you guy, you Guyanese. just gonna get all the you're influences, Guyanese, right? Yes, definitely. So that's what it was for me. I wasn't born there, but I've been to my family home. I know my grandmother. I know my uncles, my late uncles. I know my late cousins. Mm -hmm. I know the people that live next door for ten years in Guyana. But I wasn't born there. But <laughs> did you grow up having to deal with some level of racism from like black people that felt like they were like? That, that you were basically not as good as them because they're like from America more so? I feel that, but they can't jack that if they don't act more Caribbean than me. <laughs> it's <laughs> yeah. over. So it, at the end of the day, it's all politics. That's mm. the type of person I am. Like, opinion? Shut the f*** up. Right. Yeah, just shut up. Because <laughs> I will I will make somebody look less Caribbean than me in a minute, baby. Right. Come to my crib type shit. My mother be speaking up a storm or type of shit. Right. Shit. I feel like it's probably pretty cool to be Caribbean it in is. Brooklyn. It's different. Yeah. I ain't gonna fuck because it's like, it's different types of Caribbean. You got the Trinis, you got the Guyanese, you got the Bayesians, you got Jamaicans off rip. Right. And then it's like the Jamaicans, Trinis, and Guyanese, they, they deep. Yeah. In Brooklyn, like mm. heavy, like. So it's like it's like a different like neighborhood. That's crazy time. that you have to like to survive in Brooklyn, you have to be able to figure out not only like the street shit, mm -hmm. but then also like the ethnicities Literally. and the groupings of that Literally. shit on top of You the gotta be street smart and book smart. Yeah. That serious. Like and you probably gotta be I can't I can't see. I'm not an influencer. I'm just Holly. Right. I'm just Holly. So don't take nothing I say as influence. No, I right? think you're in the influencer realm now. I, yes, because like there's a lot of stuff I do that can be copied or can be learned from but not everything i say is an influence sometimes you got to be more street smart than book smart in new york uh -huh. or wherever you're from because you don't want to you want to really have the mind to yourself to really make a possibility or make a solution you feel mm. me instead of just thinking you got to go by the book every time right for real, for real. you got to really get like complex because no matter how much you just want to focus on yeah. your schoolwork or yeah. whatever you still got to make it to school right. and back every day right. so you, you gotta got figure to figure out how to move to sleep yeah. in, like anything you don't know what it, it could be anything any possibility but yeah, you got to be able to maneuver. I think that's what life is about. Like you got to you can't, you're not ready for it. You got you just going to be f***ed. Right. So, yeah. okay, well, you when you drop out of college, what did you start doing with yourself? Were you have jobs like throughout your childhood and everything? Yes, definitely. So, boom, when I dropped out, I was like 18. Uh -huh. So, I went to school for probably like 2 months. Oh, okay. I went to Mega Evers College in Brooklyn. Boom, dropped out. I got a job Trader Joe's, my first job. Mm. That was a good job. You feel me? Got to love Trader Joe's. Yeah, I stayed I got out. I left Trader Joe's. My last day, no, Trader Joe's was a good job. I swear to God. Good place to shop, too. They, they got a lot of great, great treats place there, to man. Shop. Let's slow down. <laughs> Trader Joe's, A1. We love you. Okay? We love you. They're great, yeah. They're great. And it's cheap. Yes. Which is weird. Nigga, brioche bread. Oh, pfft. Oh. Shit. Because, all right, you go to like Erewhon or like any of the mm -hmm. high end grocery stores right now, super. Yeah. If you go to Trader Joe's, they got it's all Gucci. the cool products yes. and shit, but they're cheap as fuck. Definitely. So I worked there, getting paid great. They was holding me down. They were still supporting like my um social media like dreams and stuff like okay. that. Okay. So they was people in there was very artistic too. It was a lot of like in New York we have Soho, so that's like a good area for like artistic people. Mm -hmm. A lot of people that's famous like know that area for real. For real. A lot of fashion kids just yeah, go walk around there all day. Definitely. Yeah. And a lot of them make got lit off that. Mm. Feel me? So that is what it is. You yeah. put on an outfit, you go walk around in Soho and Literally, try to just run into some New photographers. York, anything can happen. <laughs> Wait till you see a TikToker who asks you to do a, how much did your fit cost? Video. Literally, <laughs> get dressed, find something you want to do for the day in New York, walk mm. around for eight hours, you might change your life. Literally. Yeah. For me? Know. So basically, yeah, I did that. And then, wait, what was the question? Just what you did after the yeah, college so thing didn't boom, work out. I did Trader Joe's. I was there for a little bit. They were still supporting me, so I was still traveling, going to Cali, Miami. I was still going to work. Then after that, I quit. I was still trying to get heavier, trying to go more viral. Hmm. Then I'm like, damn, I got to go get a job again. Boom. So I went back to work. I was working at, um, what's it called? It's like um, Burlington Coat Factory. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so I was working there in the city. That shit was valid, too. Was barely going to work, still getting blessed, still getting paid my check. Working mad hard, like, no matter what. I just was always trying to work hard because I know, like, I know what to do type shit. Mm. Boom. Still was making videos. Then I quit that job. Then the barbershop video went viral. Mm. It was over, 2019. So that was the summer when, like, Matt, New York was lit again. Hey, 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 Big Dread. Mm. Ah, um, Pinocchio, everything was lit. Feel me? Yeah. Bumma Clyde, y'all damn Ross. All, all that shit was lit. Yeah. Boom. Then after that, I just kept going. Then 2020 came. Everything stops. Yeah, everything goes crazy. Yeah. So, it's over after that. I don't, it's just, it's just mayhem. <laughs> especially, okay, especially as a Brooklyn I'm just cat, living, yeah. Because it's like, living. Pop Smoke gets killed, and then right. the whole world shuts down. Right, mind you, my birthday, January 27th, 2020. 
the day before. I don't know if it was the day before or the day of. Kobe gets killed while I'm out here. Yeah. Not killed. He died. He passed right. away. And, and in because plane in that Rolling That's Loud vlog, they were talking about you're banging rest in peace Juice World. Lit- and I'm, at first, I was thinking like, why is he saying that? And then I'm I'm seeing you at Rolling Loud, yes. and I'm realizing, oh, this is right yes. after Juice World died. Like right immediately after. after. Every yo, the shit is so scary, bro. Every time I come here, some crazy shit going on. Mm. So I didn't come here mad long. Then the shit happened with Pop. I came back. You feel me? I'm like, damn, shit weird, bro. It's like, it feel weird. It feel ominous. Mm. Mad ominous. I came back today. I felt amazing. Yeah. I'm like, it feels great energy. I ain't been in so long. I'm in love. Cali, yes. <laughs> you feel well, me? four years ago when you were here, you were still trying to figure out what the f*** you're going to do. And yeah. now you got real motion. Things are really happening. That was you. like when I, that was the year I turned 21 too. So it was like a lot going on. Yeah. I didn't know life yet. Yeah. You feel me? I thought I did, but I didn't. Because that, all right, that's what I was thinking when I was watching that, uh, the Rolling Loud vlog mm-hmm. from 2020 is I'm yeah. like, damn, this is crazy. Like, you got so much energy. You're trying to make something in your life and you can see that you're just trying to figure out what yeah. it's going to be, yeah. but you're not hundred percent sure, but yeah. you could just see the energy you and your yeah. friends, you're going in the in and out, you're yelling, you're screaming, mm-hmm. you're causing a scene, but you're having a blast. And it's mm-hmm. like, it's easy for me to see how that energy eventually was going to be something that people would, would yeah, definitely. flock to. Yeah, definitely. To me, the whole thing was that I always wanted to be an actor, but it's like, like in New York, you gotta be book smart and street smart. You mm-hmm. gotta know that you wanna be an actor, but you gotta find a way to chase your dream some other way. You uh-huh. feel me? And my number one thing is to be happy and have fun. Feel me? Have peace. And that's, I do that great. Mm. I just, like when people see me be happy, have fun, they feel like they me or they feel like they happy, they having fun. Feel mm-hmm. me? And I like that. Like I'd rather push off that energy than any other type of energy. Yeah, because even when I'm bringing you up to people like Rowdy Rebel and shit, yeah. it's like I can see it that. Everybody views you as just like a symbol of, mm-hmm. of peace and, yeah. and having fun and Literally. shit. Like that's a rare space to be no, able to facts. be in as, in a place as cutthroat as Brooklyn. Exactly. It really is. It really, really is, bro. But at the end of the day, it's like I stick by be be yourself. You feel me? I just stick by be yourself. Try to do anything different. That's when your mind gets fucked up. You don't know who you are no more. Mm. You feel me? That's what I feel like I went through during COVID. You feel me? I feel like at a certain point, I was trying to be me and then trying to be somebody else. It's like, nigga, you got to be Diallo and Holly at the same time. You feel mm. me? And make it make sense. Why? What do you feel like you started to do during COVID that wasn't the real you? I feel like, I don't know. It was just too much going on. Like, I was doing mad shit. Life was just lifing right. every day. It's COVID going on. We got too much freedom uh-huh. to do whatever the we want. That's bad sometimes. Yeah. Like, yeah. Especially when you're 21. Yeah. Definitely. So that's how it was for me. And I really wasn't focused on like... Feel me? Diallo is like my professional self. Holly is like my more lenient self. Okay. So I had to smash them together. You feel me? Type shit. Uh huh. It's like symbolic. Yeah. <laughs> I had to make it make sense. Like like meditating. That was my way of meditating and making my mind make sense of everything. Definitely. For me, so I just put it together. So you were doing the music thing all along, or when did that kick in? I was. I've been making music. I've been trying to make like actual songs and stuff since I was 11, 12. Mm. For me, you could go on my SoundCloud right now and hear me when I was little. You feel me? But I never had really dropped nothing. I was on doing features with my man. So we was do, we was rock stars. We're rock. We're still rock stars. You mm. feel me? Ten seventeen. We all got this tatted right here. Oh, nice. You feel me? So we they was making music, and I was getting on all the features. Feel me? Me and my son Rich got good features, all that. And then I dropped a song called Tragic. Mm, yeah, I saw that, that was during COVID too. That shit did good, feel me? I dropped it for like the drill trend, you mm. feel me, in New York. It's like, all right, let me get creative now. Let me stop being scared or stop feeling like I'm forcing it. Let me just be me. Everybody going to do what they want to do. Do what you want to do. Mm. You stopping and studying your own shit. Feel me? So I dropped it, boom. I felt good about it. But I'm like, nah, I got to do more. But I've seen that. M- many times where it's like you have motion off of doing skits and comedy type mm-hmm. shit and then you also want to rap mm-hmm. and it's like sometimes people feel like they can't rap because yeah. being a rapper is so serious yeah. so you can't necessarily be coming from a funny Definitely. background Definitely. although there's a lot of people that have kind of broke through that that's what it is though like rappers rapper, that's how rappers make themselves look now for mm-hmm. me if anything they just gonna say I just make music or I just, just say I'm Holly bro for mm-hmm. me like I don't want to put on no image for nobody none of that that I don't have to mm-hmm. I've been the same person my whole life you feel me I'm not gonna switch up now you feel me like I'd rather even if I make some tough scary drill music it might not be my story I'm making music rhyming rapping and telling probably telling somebody else's story you feel mm-hmm. me like it's all artistic everything is creative for me I ain't running from it no more like right. type shit I me? think everybody ultimately what they want from you is basically like the positive energy yeah, because facts. that's like what I see coming from all yes. your videos that's what it seems yes. like is making everybody gravitate towards you Hell which is yeah. really kind of a rare thing because you look at all the rappers who popped off out of New York over mm-hmm. the past couple of years it's like quite often it's mm-hmm. dudes who are pushing some scary gangster yeah. ass shit and then it's like everybody 
everybody being tough doing all this weird shit just to fall off that shit blows my bro I hate that bro when we could have all stayed together from the beginning mm. you feel me not saying I'm I don't be knowing half the people like that just got lit during COVID and shit like that because I'm from Brooklyn feel me like mm. Brooklyn is now waking up again this summer you feel me this year like we, it felt like that like the summer was more I lit I feel like everybody was sleeping on us until 2024 started and uh. then Brooklyn started blooming again or not even Brooklyn New York the right. whole New York started blooming again in during the winter, bro. For mm. real, for real. Everybody was sleeping on us, bro. They was talking about, oh, everybody falling off from New York, shit, dead, shit, trash, ain't shit going on. Y'all right, but stop dick riding. <laughs> <laughs> stop dick riding, feel me? <laughs> then, feel me, the wave just got, everything just got lit, you feel mm. me? So winter was lit, dined out. Summer was automatic for me to start drinking Don, but I'm like, I don't want to do what everybody else is doing. Let me get a liquor, Don. Have you I... been a, a serious alcohol consumer for a long time? No. No. Okay. No. For me, that's what I'm saying. Like, all of this started as a joke. Mm. You feel me? All of this started as a joke. Like, yeah, y'all going to buy big bottles? I'm going to buy a liquor bottle. Mm. I ain't, I'm, I'm not moving like I got the most bread. I'm moving like I need to get my shot and then go back home. Mm. You feel me? That's what the original video was about. I need to drink my shot. I'll get over it. I'll go back home. Back outside again type yeah. shit. You, you know what? Actually, the first video I saw of you was not even anything related to the Little Don. That's it was, why I love you, Adam. It, but it was just you speaking into the camera where you were uh, doing like the Glorilla song or yes. whatever. And you were saying like, I ain't got no... And, yes. no, and, you and, got look, me. and you're just making you. a crazy face to the camera. And I was like, who the fuck is this guy? Mind Start clicking you, around, 1942 it out. is Don Julio too. Right, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it is. It's the same shit owner? It's crazy. Okay, yeah, because I, I noticed that. I'm like, yes. he's got multiple little bottles. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So the, the original little bottle was like, it wasn't planned or nothing. I just I just wanted to do it so badly. I'm like, I'm going to sing this song mm. with this bottle, put a straw in it. I, it took me like two or three weeks to do the video. I did it, and then people just liked it. Then my mans was f***ing with the ideas too. So we all just started putting our brains together and thinking of more ideas. You mm. feel me? All the Don Dottas, my son Rich, my son Bazito, Trippy, Booga, all of them, you feel me? They all came up with ideas. My son Don, Don, Donnie Dang, my son Vasco. Everybody came up with a different idea for a video mm. and they kept shaking it, shaking right. it. And we still got more now. Really? We just been promoting the songs and like, Basically showing everybody what we try to bring to the clubs or bring to the performances with all this other shit. I like it because everybody's out here flexing their three hundred dollar bottle of liquor. Yes. You're like, it's only seven dollars, <laughs> and I still got the Don. I still got Don left. <laughs> feel yeah, me? That's hard. So I was just, you know me, I'm a funny nigga. I was just being funny at first. Feel me? And my son really told me like, nah, you got to get on your shit. Mm. Let me like get active, nigga. So I'm like, yeah, let me get active. Let's get active. So you make the song, yeah. and how does it start cracking off? So at first, I didn't even know how to make the song. Okay. I, Cause I'm I'm a writer. Mm. You feel me? I write first. They told me go in there freestyle. My mm. niggas, that's right there. Yeah. Yeah, it was over after that. Oh, okay, that's it what you did. It was over after that. Yeah, cause I was in there thinking I gotta write. I'm like nah. They they was telling me nah. Uh -huh. I'm like nah. I gotta do it this way. They like no, bro. That's f up because it's gotta be. It gotta be a parody. Like it gotta make sense. You feel me? And I don't even know how to. F I created the lyrics. Uh. I don't know. I drank two little dons. Took two pulls of spliffs and I was activated. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But the song makes sense. Mm. It makes sense. And I feel like I was having fun. It wasn't planned. I didn't know what to do. That's why it worked. You feel Flexing me? rich shit can only last so long. Exactly. Before people are like, nah, we don't do that. Yeah. So how about an anthem that celebrates the shit that's exactly. actually street level? And that's right? what I stand on. I be myself. Mm. That's what I stand on for me. I ain't never gonna move like I have it at it all. Nigga, I don't know what have it all look like. Right. Real shit. So back to that Rolling Loud vlog that I watched, mm -hmm. I noticed that you guys were not really talking about drinking during it, but you guys were trying to find the smoke the whole time. I noticed yes. you're at the dispensary yes. before you're at the hotel. Yes. I'm like, okay, they might have got famous off a song about Don, but yes. really yes. the Graba and the Splits Definitely. is what was keeping Definitely. you alive. So my son Rich made a song about Subi Man long ago, feel me? So it's like with this, with that wave, we doing the same thing we was trying to do then. Like mm. we trying to get the attention from the people who could help us, nigga. For mm. the people who could help us grow, help us make ideas bigger and better. You feel me? That's really all it is. Like it's just it's that simple for real, for real. But hell yeah, it's like the little Don just came out of nowhere. Like yeah. that little nip bottle came out of nowhere. So it was just so easy to grab it. Yeah. It was so easy to do it because it was like everybody else got the big 1942s. They got the big Reposado. Let me just get the little one. Right. And then the video that went viral with us, with us in the park singing the Julio shit was by accident too. Really? Yeah. It's like it wasn't planned. All the stuff that never gets recorded be the funniest shit. Oh, yeah. And that got recorded. Rich Chino recorded that shit and he 
caught it. <laughs> Viral. That's crazy. Shit is crazy. Look where we at. And we on the jumper Adam now. Yeah. Here. Like, you know cross I mean? country. Yes. We on the other side of New York. Yeah. And what's crazy though is that now a lot of the people from LA, when I start bringing mm -hmm. that song up, they yes. all know the f they words gonna too, know. They're going to be dining all night. Yeah. We soon be on tour out here. Wait. Okay. So who was the first famous person that tapped in with the song? I ain't going to lie, bro. It's hard. It's really hard. Because so many people have tapped in and I, I've been learning to not let shit fly by. Mm. So like, I'm just, every day is like, every day is crazy. I can't really think of the first people, but there's been a lot of people that tapped in, bro. Mm. Rich the Kid, mm. um, rest in peace, Rich Homie Quan. He peace. tapped in, feel me, 50 Cent, Soldier Boy. Really? Yes, bro. I seen Suki. Like, a lot of people haven't tapped in, but I've seen them dancing to it, playing right. it on their story. So it's, it's crazy. What 50 Cent say? 50 didn't he 50 was vibing with me in the spot. We we had a I had a um I went to some spot called Harbor. Uh -huh. Harbor in New York, you feel me? He had a birthday party in there, feel me, and I was there. Um I, they played the song and I just was vibing with him. Feel me? Wow. I posted a little reel on my story. We ain't have no real like interaction. Mm. Feel me? I I hope we can soon. But just seeing like one of the absolute ghosts right. of New, of York, New York, York City of hip hop of New York showing like, love. That's crazy. Right. And mind you, he's jacking my song and I want to be an actor. I'm trying <laughs> to be a power. He jacking Julio. You feel me? So why not just be myself? Why not just be myself? You feel me? Like why not? <laughs> You feel me? <laughs> See, it's crazy. I was almost surprised when I figured out that you were smoking a bunch of weed too, because I yeah. feel like you have such a crazy energy, energy. level that sometimes when people start smoking weed, it kind of dulls mm -hmm. that a little bit. Just don't become a lean head. No, no, no. Look, that's look, what we don't need. Look, I ain't gonna lie. I feel like it's people up there watching me because they don't let me get addicted to none of this shit that everybody else is addicted to or try. I don't do mad shit. Really? You feel me? I probably messed with the walk before, probably one time in COVID. Okay. Never. <laughs> I, it's not a it's not a habit, you feel me? Right. We probably the only thing that I would ever mess with because it keeps me calm. Hmm. It helps me think. You feel me? It keeps me focused. You feel me? Other than that, I don't need it. I don't really need it. I just smoke because it's like a, a hobby. Yeah. You feel me? Other than that, bro, I could probably go a week without smoking right now. Mm. I promise you. Right. No don, no nothing. I have the most energy in the world. Get the most done. I only had probably like, I probably didn't even really smoke today. Really? You could tell. Yeah. I'm bouncy right Before now. Before an interview, I think it's a good <laughs> idea to not smoke. That's why it's yeah. weird when I see somebody and I, they're doing like their first interview and I yeah. see them rolling up mad once and I'm like... I don't know why you're trying to make nah, this harder definitely. on yourself. No, you know what it is, though? They be trying to keep they self calm. Yeah. That's what it is, I bro. also think it's like... They just it, won't tell it's you. It's a flex to be like, look. It, mm -hmm. It's the same way. It's like, look, I filmed my video out on my yeah. block and nobody shot at me. Look, yeah. I did the interview and I smoked four blunts yeah, and I'm, I'm coherent. It's I got like, no blunts, no dye, no water. <laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> Those are some long ass arms. <laughs> ass, no way. Bro. But see, okay, that's one thing. I almost started to get kind of worried when I watched the, 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 the Don <laughs> video because the whole intro is basically like you demonstrating. Who we got here? Huh? I'm in the spot. I just got here. I'm about to pull up. Oh. The Don Don is here. They valid? What's going on? Indeed. Oh, oh, so oh shit. he's right here. <laughs> the Don Don is that Cheeto. I was thinking Indeed. that the ceiling looks yes, kind of familiar. Yes, sir. How you living, yes. G? Where is Cheeto? We all That's Cheeto. Oh, shit. That's trippy. Oh, my son <laughs> leaving him dead. You next. Hot. 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 If he can break Don, he fades. See a Don? He's a Don. Hot. 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 Adam, you went crazy for us, man. The real Don. Hold on. You went crazy for us. It's the hooligans. The Don hooligans. The Don. Yo, we really appreciate that, hey, bro. I like, appreciate like, you guys pulling up, man. That's crazy. Right here. That's yeah, my yeah. son, Buka. This is my son, Davey. Where? Mm. This is the Don Dadas right here. I thought that and was the Customato guy. Yo, that's, oh, <laughs> yo, free Customato. That's game two. Yo, 
am I not a New Yorker? Look, it's Donnie Dang. That's what I was talking What's about. What's up, Donnie Dang? That's, Dang? that's some incredible yeah. name. Casamato yeah. Game Two, Dang. Free Casamato. Oh, all right, that's great. Yeah, I would hate to name a hop, so that's great. Nah, yeah, Casamato's valid. Okay, good, good. my son Black though. You feel me? You know, oh, I'm Rich Chino. You heard? Yeah, yeah. He was just telling me a story about you. Yo, don't look him in his eyes like that. He gonna be pressing him. No, I love the I love the way you guys just acted like you just got here. Yeah, that was great. Never let him see behind the third wall. That shit. Ah! Yo. Hey, hey, see, that's what I'm saying. You movie, though. You movie. I'm telling you. Certain niggas gotta roll up. Certain niggas gotta roll up. Take a shot. Ah, no, no, no. Alcohol free today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a motherfucking Monday. He not gonna drink that dog while this dog. It's just not. It's a Monday. I don't know. I'm trying to gas me out. Hell yeah. He ain't even smoked or been drunk today. I did good. Yeah, yeah, no, I think it's good. Oh, need that big clip energy. To the lips! Roach! Hi, hi! Drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it! Drop it, drop it, drop it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Why y'all bring me that? I need more now. I need more. You see, you see though, Adam? Some niggas gotta smoke and chill before they get on the camera. Yeah. I'm telling you, you are. Right? Yeah. Some niggas got to. It's just like that. Look, now they activated, ready to go. Very activated, right? yes. It's activated. Uh, I'm oh, feeling good. Are you chilling? I'm feeling good. We active. We Gucci, right? You feel some of that door in there? Oh, nah. See? Take a shot. Take a shot. Give him a shot. Don Gunn. Oh. Fill it up. No, no. No, 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 no. We can refill it. No, 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 no. We got the other little gun. Oh, Wait, no, no, no. But who got you that, though? Oh, yes. Come on. Come on. Who brought this? We go. We go replace it. I forget who it was. We go replace it. If I look through my interviews that I've done, I'm going to remember right away. <laughs> Yo. Uh, is that like it? We got to refill was... it on the door right now. Oh, nah, you got to open it, though. Yeah, you oh, gotta, yeah, for you sure. You got to bless it. Yeah, for sure. Fire. I'm, I'm going to refill it right here for y'all. Oh, no, it was whopping with the chopper. Yeah. Oh. So this is deadly drilled on. I ain't gonna lie. We opening it. Right now. Oh, we opening it. Okay, yeah. Adam cracking the dawn before GTA 6. Oh. In oh. Cali. Hey, and you hanging out with Eddie Winslow. Oh! That's real. Adam, you're f***ing goaded, gang. Here, fill that shit up. Fill that shit up. Fill it up. Hold on. If he can't break down, he fails. Don, 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 I do this at least four times a week. I do this I do this at least four times a week, you heard. We don't even got no crib right now, but f it. You don't got no crib, we gotta look at You gotta take a shot with me. Oh man, throw it back in there. Hey, yeah! Why y'all feed that? My fault, my bad, yeah. Come on, let me help you. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. okay. Oh! Hold on, this, this is what they wanted. Oh! Oh! Yeah! 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 Let's go. Throw that back in there. Stop saying that. Stop saying that, bro. No, throw it back in there. That's still saying it. Bro, I'm so with you, gang. Come on. Hi. Yo, hot, 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 hot. Yo, y'all drink it on his dime. Break, 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 don't feel free. Nigga, break this one. Polish it up. Oh. Yeah. No, you got it, you got it. No, no, no. Put it back in, put it, put it back in his, see it, Don? Peace see it, Don. Don. Oh my God, we're right. done. I'm telling you, we the done now. We're done, look, look what he did. Yo, can y'all tell these niggas our names, John? Oh, he put that in. <laughs> oh, you got oh, a yeah. special yeah. bedazzled yeah. cat. Yes. Wait, we gotta get this out the way, because we gotta give you a name, because you, you, you like an honorary member to the Don. Yes, yes. Mm. So, so as you know right here, you already know the Don, man. Tell him your name, Holly. You already know, Don Luther King. Nice to meet you. Ooh, all right. I had a dream. They call me Don F. Kennedy. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. I, I That's crazy. Like the cameras. I'm trying to see if Shorty could blow my mind in the back seat. Mm. Oh, mm. shit. I am a Don Brady, you heard? Mm. Oh, that's good, because I, I, I'm going to shut it all down. I'm Don L. Hubbard. I started oh. a whole religion. I started a motherfucking oh. religion. Oh. Y'all niggas is asleep. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What's that, Mormon? You talking yeah, to yeah, yeah, yeah. You talking to that nigga. You talking to that nigga that set the place. Call me Don Madden. Oh! Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we love it. 
What's up? Hold Wait, on. Put, throw this back in the case. Whoa. Throw this back in the case. I feel like you guys should just drink, huh? just, drink just drink it. Huh? Just drink it. There's barely any left. Oh. 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 You got a marker? I'm a sign it. Who sign it. That? Who's blunt? Daniel put it back in the case. That's uh, Orlando Brown's blunt. Orlando. Oh. Oh. Who's made this? Who's made oh. this? That's Crip Max beer. It's Crip Max beer. He's going to drink that as soon as he gets back. Oh, We got gangbangers in here. Oh, no, I know. Oh, yeah, Wally. Oh, rest in peace, Draco. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Don Wick is here. Yeah. Indeed. Don Lini. Careful. Don Holly. I got that Don. Don Chains, man. Don Talking to yes, John Dada, man. Yeah, enjoy, the, enjoy the rest of your interview, though. Yes, sir, my audience. I appreciate y'all, man. Oh, that was the most Brooklyn thing ever. I appreciate y'all, man. And hey, we not like I'm back on the block. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, man, we get active, man. Yo, don't look at me. We got a split for you. you I appreciate oh, you, all. Oh, hell yeah. Yo, that sounds yo, great. Yo, make it a double. <laughs> Play now. A double split. <laughs> Hold on. They, Roll they me a it. double split. Somebody pass me a marker, man. I got to sign it. I got to sign it. Yo, I got the $1,600 an ounce weed now, too. What? Let's roll that shit up. I got What's that up? elephant Let's brain, bro. I'm still showing the YouTube video. We can it, finish all that. It's on my desk. You want to grab it? Yeah, get it right now. The, okay, thank you. Whatever you want, Adam. We What's it called? Elephant mind? Elephant brain? Mm. Elephant, mm. Grow? Mm. elephant grow? Elephant oh, grow? Somebody just gifted it to me, but I know it's worth that much because my homie had it, and as soon as we pulled up to New York last time, and Chef G pulled up. 1600 Where? bucks. He wanted the ounce. That's serious? It's really that good. I feel like you're trying to get me. Nah. I would never lie on what another man paid all for right, weed. All right, let me ask you something. Let me ask you something, because I, I only... You only ever did shrooms? I I just whispered it. Oh my god! So I yeah I know you be on some loud shit. How that should be making you feel? You just stop weed? Yeah, no other stuff. I know you oh. speaking out. Uh, no, not really. Okay, good, good. You never good, took good. a perk? Nah. Yeah, that's good. Lie. Stay away from it. Look, look, look. Check this out. Ah, ah, ah. What's that? This is the the sixteen hundred dollars an ounce weed. Oh nah, that's the good gas. Mm. Oh, I don't know what's so special about it. I'm not it exactly. It smells like cake, though. Yeah, I ain't yeah. gonna lie. Mm -hmm. Look, I signed it. Don Holly TV. Yeah, that's good, guys. I ain't gonna lie. Like good shit. We definitely gonna get a good blunt action going on, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I was in the grabber. Oh, you you got the grabber here? Nah, I only do that when I'm with my New Yorkers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got yeah. good grabs. We got good grabs. That's a factoid. Um, okay, shit. So where the were we? I don't even remember what the, we were yeah, saying before the. Oh no, they bum rushed us. That shit was went crazy. That's some New York shit, you heard? That was New York. I just walk in and do what the. Is, yeah. No, that was good. That was very, very good vibes good right content. there. Oh, anyway, what I want to say, mm -hmm. I started to get worried because okay. I watched the Don video, mm -hmm. and for those who haven't seen it, which they should definitely go check it out on YouTube, you're basically like waking up fiending mm -hmm. for the Don, mm -hmm. like to such an extent that you're you're rummaging mm -hmm. around the house. You look like a real crackhead. Yeah, head. yeah, and that was. Kind of concerning. I'm like, yes. is that really what your relationship with Don Julio is like? You wake up and you don't have it. You got a itch and scratch. Mm -hmm. I need I, it. I need it. Look, I'm telling you right now, ev everything I did for the music video revolves around the skits and the comments that got behind the skits. Okay. So everything was like a creative mindset, bro. It's like, I didn't even know what I was going to do for the music video. We were supposed to go to a pool party. Mm. I got trunks on in the music video. We didn't have no pool. <laughs> That's, feel what me? happened to the pool? Thugging it out. We had to switch cribs based mm. off the party. You feel me? So look, based off the um the, the skit in the beginning of the music video, it's like, that's how everybody felt like it was. Or that's how mm. everybody was moving mm. with the Don before I started doing the liquid Dons. Everybody was acting like Don Julio was... You know, I mm. felt like this was like, oh, mind control. When I seen girls do it, I'm like, oh, nah, the Don Julio got them under mind control. It's over. Twirling it around your yeah, head. Yeah, that's, that's some mind control wave. shit. Okay. Like a medallion or halo or some shit, you feel yeah. me? So I'm like, I got to utilize, you feel me? You got to utilize it to your best ability. So I just started having fun drinking Don too. Yeah. I'm like, let's see what this shit make me do. <laughs> right. You feel me? And I just started getting creative with it. You're pretty good with alcohol though, or do you get too drunk? I ain't going to lie. I do get too drunk, but that's if I want to get too drunk. Okay. Like, I be getting fun drunk. Uh. I never get, like, crazy angry, want to kill somebody drunk or put people in danger drunk. You okay. feel me? Like, I'm always happy. You don't drive? I drive sometimes. But not off the dime. No, Got not it. off good, the dime. Definitely, because I'm, 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 I'm the guy right now, so mm. I can't put nobody in trouble. So the other day, I was in Atlanta, we mm. go to Magic City, I get yeah. the section, what do we yeah. order? Couple Don. of bottles of Don Julio. I got too drunk. I'm not gonna lie. Y'all ain't gonna yeah. lie. Wait, what did you have? Reposado, Anejo? Don. Reposado? 
But look. Oh, there's different kinds. I don't even know. Or 42. I'm not 100% sure. See, the not Rep- 42. The Reposado will fuck you up. But it was like Anejo, a big version of that bottle, I think. The Anejo <laughs> will whoop your ass. <laughs> I'm telling you. The Anejo <laughs> will whoop your ass. Really? It's worse than this. Wow, okay. Two shots of Anejo, you're going to be like... Lip smash draw. For me, mm, smack. Really? Rep- um, 1942 too, but 1942 made me feel sexier. Mm. You feel me? So it's like, I'm not really, I'm not the Don advocate. You mm. feel me? I just knew what to do and make a Don wave and and with my guys' help, for sure, mm. capitalize. Like, we're, I wouldn't be able to capitalize if it wasn't for whoever just popped up. You know what else? Uh, I think it's an appropriate theme for you as a New Yorker because mm-hmm. New York is a place where you can still get a Lucy. Yeah, literally. LA, oh, wow. I don't know where the f- can get a Lucy at because I go to the, wow. the the bodega. I never, I never even heard anybody in LA talking about being and able to buy a Lucy even, at the store. I feel like y'all got it better than us. Then they mm. killing us for a dollar. Yeah, I know, right? They killing <laughs> niggas for dollars out there, fifty cent, bro. But like this, <laughs> this is the equivalent of a Lucy. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. You know, that's why I had to do it. I'm like, niggas sleep on the nips. Nobody ain't back out a nip and never. You feel me? So when I started seeing these ads, I'm like, nah, I got to give me a little dime. Right. I got to give you. I just didn't know it was going to go this When far. you're really in the streets around some people who really like need to get drunk, mm-hmm. they be buying the little ass shot things. Yeah. I, I haven't seen a lot of them unless mm-hmm. I didn't see nobody buying these till I did. Really? I swear. Because oh, okay. I don't think nobody knew they were around. Uh. I didn't think nobody knew it was little Don bottles, even Blanco. Like nobody knew that for real. I kind of knew, but never really thought about mm-hmm. it or like considered yeah, that I'm it could be a way. Nobody knew, yeah. but it wasn't a way. Yeah. Facts. So that's how that's how I really wanted to put my little like my little signature on it with the little dons, you mm. feel me? And then it just went farther than I ever thought possible because of what I was what I've been working up to. I've been working up to finding a way to go crazy again. And mm. we all went crazy this summer just having fun like right. this shit is so nuts, bro. Like real shit. This shit is nuts right now. Like it makes no sense. How'd you end up tapping in with D Sturdy and the Philly okay. Cats coming through showing love? So you know what's crazy? We went I went to a listening party. Okay. And he was just there. You okay. feel me? I was supposed to been work with his team and stuff, but as a content creator, probably be in one of his music videos or something, like through management. But when we tapped in through there with straight vibes, like mm. you feel me? That's the type of music I feel like I should keep making. Like I'm gonna definitely keep writing, but like if me and the person catch like a vibe where we just saying some dumb funny shit mm. and we do a video behind it and the fans like it, that's the shit. I'm going to get that vibe song from me ASAP. So right? you and him just met there and yes. hit it off and then you ended up going Literally. to the studio together? Literally. We hit it off. We made the video. Don on I. Yeah, yeah. Because the, the um, violent crimes instrumental was already going viral because of Ty Lil. Uh. Or, um, and it was going viral because of Ty Lil, Koss and that doing the shit on stream all the time and the shit like this where they got the dance move that I be doing with the Don on Night shit. For right. Me. So off rip, it was going crazy. So I was like, if I just throw my own shit on there, Go crazy. We didn't even plan it like that, though. Mm. We just in there talking about some dining, drinking. <laughs> he just kept saying it. And then I'm like, dining, drinking. I know you want to die, don't die. <laughs> we was just wild. Like, then we said, let's go make this video real quick. Right. O- on TikTok. We went on TikTok. They was jacking it. Mm. About a week later, we in the studio. Mm. A week later, we in the studio. That's Julio, dope. the next day, we went to the studio. But they make sense for me, to, for you to collaborate with, because I feel mm-hmm. like they're really trying to bring the fun into yes. the shit, that, too. That, and I feel like that type of beat is them. You yeah. feel me? Like, that? they made that lit. And I never got to really collab with a lot of people that got lit during COVID. Mm. You feel me? So it's like, that's kind of me giving my, like, flowers in a way. Mm. You feel me? That's good collab for us. We going up. You feel me? We got good relationship. Gang fuck with him. His gang fuck with us. You feel me? Right. It's like, it's cool vibes. You feel me? I, that's all I like, bro. I like peace. Like, yeah. everybody have fun. We lit. Yeah. Going up after that. I Tell feel me. like there's been so many years of crazy gangster drill shit uh, that there's just like a lot of people who are trying to figure out how yeah. they can make a wave off of some more positive uh, shit with the the, the Cash Cobain mm-hmm. shit, the sexy drill mm-hmm. shit, the club drill shit. It's all like people are just trying to like kind of take a few steps away from mm-hmm. that musically and see mm-hmm. what they can make happen. And that's, I feel like that's what I've always been good at. Or I feel like that's what I've really always like tried to do. It's like, you know, just try to like, Stay fresh, you know, do new stuff or do everything, you know? Always try to do everything. I always try to do music and make YouTube, even if my YouTube wasn't lit. Mm. You feel me? Still try to make content, skits. I still do background acting sometimes. You feel me? I still am doing table readings and scripts with people. Okay. Like, so you I'm actually take the acting side of things serious. I take everything serious, like for real, for real. Like people that tell you, like, it's a, it's a lot of stuff that I don't be wanting to do. 
But when people t believe in me more than I believe in myself, it goes crazy. Mm. You feel me? And it's just because I'm just, at a certain point, I'm trying to do shit right. But it's like, it's no right or wrong way. You feel me? You just got to feel good about it. For, mm. for real. You remind me of like so many dudes I knew in New York over the years who were just straight up like, just balls of energy yeah. wake up walk out the house get the bacon egg and cheese and, and then they're just going for like gone. 14 hours Literally. straight especially if you get your bacon egg and cheese off the ebt mm. and you got 20 dollars left for the day mm. yeah you're going to have the best day of your mother life <laughs> it's gonna be a movie and no one can stop you i swear to god yeah that's how it is in new york like if you can breathe and just Smoke a little weed, get some food, be around some jobs, sit around the bros. You could do anything. Because once you start going, having that day, walking mm -hmm. outside in Brooklyn, yes. it's like anything can yes, happen anything. because the city it's, is like a natural. It's like you just took Adderall, yes. but it's just you're it's, motivated by the f***ing feeling of everybody else trying to go get it. That's why everybody be having to smoke because mm. we too uppy and jumpy. Like we ready to go. Like mm. everybody's ready to go, even either in a negative way or in a positive way. Like right. it's a lot of angry people in New York, but it's a lot of like people that like to party and get lit and mm. shit like that you feel me so it's like it's like a mixture of both nigga you could mix both of those people together and actually have a good time it's crazy to me because i left new york in 2010 mm. and since then whenever you, i go back where you lived uh bushwick oh steady. yeah yeah maria hernandez park and shit oh, yes, yeah i live like 10 minutes from there yeah that's crazy yeah but then i uh like w since i've left it feels like Yo, I used to live in like real fear of yes. the cops out there. And yeah. now it feels so much more chill. Like people ain't scared of shit. People outside smoking all the you time, drinking open containers and shit. We used to be terrified to be outside yeah. with an open container. I ain't gonna lie, bro, because it's like, it's cops everywhere now. Like they always trying to stop you from doing stuff. Oh, yeah. So it's like New York really got a mentality right now where it's like everybody is for they self. Like it's mm. like, Nigga, we not scared. We going to do it regardless. You going to lock me up, I'm going to come home, do the same thing I was doing yesterday. You feel mm -hmm. me? My man said some crazy shit the other day. We only got one gender in New York. Niggas. <laughs> that ass. <laughs> we got one gender. Everybody's on time, you feel me? Uh -huh. Like Everybody's on time, and everybody want to survive. That's, that's just how it is right now, bro. Right. For real, for real. Damn. Because it's too much cops, you feel me? Like It's like at a certain point, it's like we not scared of them no more. They're everywhere, you mm. feel me? They can't stop us from smoking. Yeah. They can't stop us from drinking and having fun, you feel me? Not everybody's trying to hurt or kill people. So it's like, nigga, mind your business. That's the way we mind. Do you feel like it, it feels like New York and maybe Brooklyn in general has gotten like more uh, positive and shit? And it's like a little bit less negative than it was? Or I feel like, I feel like, yeah. I feel like all that shit really stemmed from COVID. Like, nobody was used to COVID mm. in New York. Like, in New York, we all used to being around each other all the time. So when you take mad people and you separate them, everybody gonna feel away. Mm. Like, everybody gonna feel alone, nigga. Everybody gonna feel like they alone or left out or missing something. So that's really what it was for real. Like, I feel like now that we back outside again, it's, everything is lit. Mm. Everything is just the way it was before COVID. Like, we just... It's like we had the snap from the Avengers. Type mm. shit. That's really what it felt like. That's crazy. Uh, yeah. So, okay. Have you been just staying in the studio working on more music or what, what's your perspective on that? Well, I'm trying to keep it vibey like for me mm. before uh, the, the week before I went to make Julio, I went to the studio to make another song mm. like that. I was planning to drop on some whole other shit. Like I had a whole different rollout for music really? this year. And yeah. what made you realize that was the one? Um, Cause they was jacking the video. Mm. They was jacking the video, and I'm like, why not? I never dropped no parody music for me. And my man's, my man's was really telling, telling me to do that for real. They seen the video. I dropped the video by accident. Mm. Once it started punching, they was like, go to the studio. You mm. feel me? So that Thursday, I went to go cook something up. By Sunday, we did the the event where I did the little Don Julio Julio where I did that. All right, so I'm gonna tell you the whole story right now. <laughs> okay. Boom. I took a long break. I'm back. Uh huh. Get a million views on Reels. Finally, boom. We have a big scythe. It was some smoking video. You probably seen it. Yeah, yeah. Where niggas was like, niggas over here rolled it up this, that. It got a million views. So we we wanted to have a big scythe in New York for all the supporters that was jacking the video, sharing it and stuff. A couple people came out and then we just vibed out. I, I just had Don there. It's a Don summer. You feel me? Then I ended up making the Julio Don, Don. I made it by accident. Rich recorded it. Boom. It goes up, probably three days later, it starts blicking. Mm. Starts going crazy. Everybody's calling me, calling me, calling me like, yo, this video is punching, bro. Keep going, keep posting, da 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 Then my man's um, Bazito and them, Bazito Rich and them, yeah. They basically telling me like, yo, we gotta go to the studio. 
got to make this a song. Mm. I'm like, you sure? <laughs> Cause I'm like, if I make this song, I'm gonna make it on some slizzy shit. Mm. Cause it was like, that was the slizzy shit that was going on. But then we went there and it was just like a whole different vibe. Like once I heard it in the studio and really heard my voice doing what I was doing in the video, I'm like, yeah, it's lit. Especially after they told me to freestyle, it was over. Mm. I was still shaky after we left the studio. Have you thought about doing an official remix for it with people Hell rapping on yeah, it and shit? Or? Definitely. Cause I feel like I rapped on it. I feel like I could probably get like another verse or two on there, but I ain't forcing it. I'm happy with my work. Mm. You feel me? We got Don on night. We got another one coming for y'all too. Is it still along the same lines of the the Don movement? Yes. Or are you stepping outside it a little bit? <laughs> I'm I'm definitely on the Don movement and stepping outside of it. Mm. Like it's gonna be Don Julio related, but it's definitely not gonna be like on some. On some like rap and shit, because you want yeah. you like you've established a brand for yourself, and yeah. you want to keep pushing it, but at the same time, you don't want to completely yeah, like, inundate the market. I'm not Don Julio himself, exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But I'm just having fun right now. You feel me? I definitely got a lot of more songs I'm ready to drop. I've mm -hmm. got a lot of more songs and features I'm ready to do with people, all that. But it's like I'm just having fun right now as an introduction. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Keep them knowing that I'm not a, only a rapper. You feel me? Like I make music, I do content, I, I stream, I do. Everything everything for me i want to be an actor so it's like i just show my personality the best way i can to see who i could grasp out there mm. that might want to give me that role one day you feel me what's the okay i asked you who the first person to tap in with or, or no we already did like the that, big um, names yeah, as well but okay yeah, it's a lot of them <laughs> right with julio definitely um okay so um the one other thing i wanted to mention when i was going through your older video content mm -hmm. is i saw you i guess I don't know how to say it. Dressed as a woman, yeah, doing a skit. It's in high school, right? Was it with a? Was that a wig or is that like no. a Snapchat filter? So boom. Um. Hmm. Well, it depends on which video it was. Because like, was uh, I ain't gonna when lie. females get caught cheating. Yeah, it was a wig. My mother, <laughs> my mother wear wigs. My man's moms wear wigs. Anytime they needed a wig for a video, they right. come in clutch. You heard? So I ain't gonna lie. When I was young, it was like not even when I was young. A lot of stuff wasn't like. Like, a lot of people wasn't dick rotting mm. the way they are now. We're going to be straightforward. Niggas be dick rotting. Right. Dead ass. Niggas be in the comments giving their opinion. Nobody give a f But that's what makes all this keep going. You feel me? Yeah. So at the end of the day, it was like, I'm going to do what my mind tells me to do. And then I know when it go up, some people can relate to it. It's not that I'm being weird or being homophobic. I mean, if you're like, a comedian. Exactly. That's it's the kind all of thing types that of jokes. to me, it's, a, it's exactly. fun. It's bound to make people laugh. No funny shit. Like, on some Lil Yachty shit. I feel like I'm going to write some hits for some females. Mm, there you go. Like, it's... You never know, bro. It's like, it's the way your mind is. You feel me? That is you crazy. see shit in a different light. It's crazy to picture crazy. Yachty sitting there with his phone, just writing like, right. he gonna blow my back out. Right. My wet his right. Or some shit. Talking about. But then he made millions off pussy that. nigga. Probably. I don't know how much, but he made a bunch of money off of right, sitting there writing some shit that he figures right. that a girl would say. That shit probably make him hard. Something he probably like. Shit. I didn't even think of that. That's yeah. what I'm saying. You got to around, say some shit that you like and have somebody else say some shit that you just told them to say and then say it. Wow. I want to <laughs> write a rap for a girl now that you say That's that. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, yeah. Bro, you got to really think about what people been doing since well, I, I was born in 99. The amount of shit I see from 99 and now, the amount of changes in life is crazy. Yeah. So it's like, now that I know, like, okay. When they said niggas was the future, as kids, we're really the future. You mm -hmm. feel me? We got to create the future. Like, whatever we think is possible could be possible, bro. That's serious. And it's mad people who's proving that to us every day. It's just people be having too much pride. Have you felt like people in the rap media world have been a little bit slow to tap in with the wave that you're pushing? Because from my perspective, I'm mm -hmm. surprised that this is like the first big interview you're doing because it's like, if I was the Breakfast Club, yeah. I would have been like, shit, he coming out of Brooklyn, he got this nah, song going crazy. Academics, he's an alcoholic. Lie. Can't believe that he didn't want to be the first one nah, to tap in lie. on the Dawn wave. You know what's crazy? It's because like a lot of people feel like because I probably don't have the right, uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's just a little raw. Yeah, I don't know. It's just me being me. You yeah. feel me? Like, it's nothing, like, like constructed behind it. Mm. So that's probably what it is. You feel me? They probably want more order to it. You feel me? And they probably don't want to be the ones to give the order to it. You mm. feel me? And that's fine, too. Because at the end of the day, I'm working. You mm. feel me? I don't feel like this is the end. This is the beginning still. New York is the number one place where, like, they don't necessarily want to let you in the door. You got to really yeah. earn it. You got to really like, make them care. I feel like that's that's what everybody say, but it's like, 
I feel like even then they don't care. They mm. just be dick riding. You mm. feel me? So I feel like it's not it's not you got to make them. You feel me? Everybody just got to do them. Mm. You feel me? I got to do me until the wheels fall off. They're going to fall suit soon. Right. For me, everybody going to follow suit. I mean, shit, it might be like, you know, you, you make a couple more records and mm-hmm. then like it just becomes so in their face that yeah. they can't ignore it. And then they realize like, oh shit, he had a yeah. no jumper interview six or months they, ago. They've they been probably, tapped in. Yeah. yeah they, a lot of people is, like in New York is living their own lives right now. Like we're on all celebrities. I'm going to mm. be 100% honest. Like, everybody in New York is a celebrity. So, a lot of people probably don't even know what's going on. They probably think, okay, Julio's going viral. It's lit. It's just Holly going viral all the time. They mm. know me. For me, so they probably just think, okay, he's going viral, regular shit. Right. They probably don't think it's as big as it is until we finish off the year, wrap it up, because summer just ended. Mm. Nobody's not going to really start paying attention to like October, November. Like, mm. you feel me? When we leave here tomorrow, we just made the, we just made future. Hey, may, made maybe future when the ball drops, it's, it's gonna be a nickel down. The last day of December. The ball will be a nickel down. A nickel down. And I'm gonna be the king of New York. Ten, over. Nine, eight, eight seven, seven, six, six five, five, four, three, two, one. Down. We got the ball. We got the little ball. We are. We are. Oh Bitch, I God. just need it down. Down. Did you roll fire? Out? Did you roll that blunt for my hearty? Oh, I don't know. If you didn't, that's cool too. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Wait, <laughs> you gave? Oh, you were just looking at it. Never mind. Uh, it's all it's good. Crazy. Well, um, <laughs> okay, so what are the plans going forward? Going forward, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I've been doing a lot of background stuff this year, like a b- background roles. You feel me? So I've been focused on acting. I've been focused on content again. I've been focused on YouTube. Mm. So y'all gonna see a lot of that from me. Y'all gonna hear a lot more music. Y'all probably gonna see me in a couple different countries now. Mm. You feel me? Y'all probably gonna see me working with a lot of different people now. You feel me? Cause it's like 200K is not famous. 300K not famous. You feel me? Like it's it, followers don't mean nothing. Subscribers don't mean nothing. You feel mm. me? It's all about what you doing, what you spreading, and like. Your, your net worth for real, for real. Keeping the ball rolling. Definitely. So that's what I'm definitely trying to do now. I'm trying to keep the ball rolling. I'm trying to make sure LLC, Gucci, feel me, Team Gucci, mm. feel me, everything is set up right. And I just keep living my life, for real. Have you had interest from labels and stuff? Have they been doing the little meetings with you and everything? Uh, yeah, I just can't talk about it because mm. it's like, I don't know who I'm really going to jack. Yeah. But that's crazy to say. Mm. I'm not a rapper, bro. That's crazy to say. So it's like, everybody really need to keep pushing, doing what you do. Even if you feel like it's you shouldn't be doing it, do that shit. Mm. Like, you feel me? I'm doing something right now that I feel like I did not want to do. I was scared to do. or I feel like everybody was going to judge me for doing. I don't give a f- You're one person where it's like, even if the little dawn movement seems mm-hmm. like it's not going to be the thing that takes you to the roof mm-hmm. i just feel like your energy and your pers- personality is just going to like get you there nah, yeah, no I matter what know. if it's this song if it's another if it's another 10 songs from now whatever i just feel like you got the personality that's going to yeah, carry this shit i appreciate that bro definitely how yeah i just try to pray every day and do the most right i can yeah. literally you feel me while still living and having fun you know making my own story that serious that's the hardest part knowing that's this is this is all on you, buddy. You feel me? Like <laughs> it's really your story. You really gotta, you know, you gotta have the answers sometimes. You really gotta know. That's a fact. So that's what I'm trying to do now. Just make sure everything just keep going. And I know la- last six months, I said I wanted to do what I'm doing right now, mm. and I'm gonna just keep trying to do the same thing because it's happening. It's really? dope too, though, because you're pushing something that's really positive. Mm-hmm. So it's like a lot of the shit we see a rapper blow up, but yeah. it's like at the same time, you're worried is somebody gonna do something yeah. to them? Are they gonna yeah. move? They gotta move like this. They gotta click up with these people mm-hmm. they gotta worry about these dudes yeah, coming to do definitely. something you're just pushing like pure fun. nah literally that's, and that's the only reason thing. why I'm pushing alcohol is cause I'm 2-5 now like I'm oh, I'm, I'm grown enough mm. so I make I make grown up content I make content that everybody can understand you're 25 like, 25 so you've been grinding since you were 13, 10 years old 10 so, yes oh, yeah. since I was 10 but when I was 13-12 that's when I really started like videos heavy that is motivational to definitely. the kids out there cause definitely. a lot of times you know you, if you're working on your career or trying to make something of yourself mm-hmm. for 5-10 years people start feeling like it's never gonna happen yeah. but the truth is you're still young as f- yeah i don't know about yeah. mad i thought i knew yeah i didn't know nothing real uh, shit and that's the truth about life bro you can't run around here with your head cut off thinking your head on you feel yeah, real yeah. shit Damn, that's bro. what i learned it's so a motivational story i'm very hyped indeed we activated i'm coming back too let's we do gonna, it oh now we're gonna do a lot of stuff i'm about to get my youtube shit yeah. i'm monetized yeah. i'm not stopping i'm not stopping y'all you feel me <laughs> so if y'all don't subscribe to me or follow me now holly tv everywhere 
on Twitch, Holly on TV. We Anybody ever tell you you look like Lil Reese? No. <laughs> I heard they booked my son Lil Reese yesterday. They bugging. The Dyke Reaper. Free my son Reese. You heard? Yo, they be saying I like Just Blow. Free my son Just Blow. Shout out Just Blow. Okay. Free Just Blow. Just Blow tapped in with me. He, oh, I don't know how, uh -huh. but he taps in with me. Everybody got a phone. Yes. Or they got a guy who's Jack, using Just their Blow phone on the outside in. and they're yes. telling them what to say on the phone. Yes, Just Blow been tapping in before I had 100K. You yeah. know what I mean? G Herbo, all of them. You feel me? Really? I fuck New York, oh, fuck with lit. the rack. Oh, me. hell yeah. You feel me? Because back in the day, we used to have like Facebook beef, like mad funny Facebook beef and group chats. Really? But New York and the rack, don't let nobody lie to y'all. Y'all can listen to me. I promise y'all, y'all can listen to me. Let these other niggas, listen. Don't let these other niggas lie to y'all, nigga. New York f with the rack and vice versa. Oh, yeah. I promise you. Yeah. We locked in. We like the same place. Mm. Just like LA and New York. I swear to God. It's like New York, Miami, and LA and Chicago is like all the same, bro. Yeah, it's just different rules awesome and shit. laws. Yeah, yeah. I'm telling you, bro. Thank you so much for coming in. I really appreciate yeah, like, it. I know you're going. Thank you for to the moon, me, brody. Yes. To the moon. Yes. Off the dawn. Off the dawn. Whatever sign, dawn you choose. Let me sign this one too. <laughs> no, 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 no. We yeah. Yo, that, trying to get that sponsorship with Eddie, you Eddie over Eddie Winslow there. was pouring up the. We had, yeah, a, we he had was a fake going one. Crazy. <laughs> had a, I ain't gonna lie, I seen a little bit of that. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, he's, he's crazy. Yeah, he my son Darius out here. Darius. That's crazy. He out here. Yeah, my son Rowdy out here. Yeah, Rowdy. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I went. I, I just realized I can do a rhyme about Darius and rhyme it with hilarious. Oh. Mr. Darius, I heard you was fiending for just hilarious. Yeah, like, and you already know she was moving a little curious. N -n 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 now you with Sydney Star, you bi curious. Yeah, like what's that about? My heart, we love you, but you wildin'. He's wildin'. All right, yeah, we out. There you go, hold it down. We hey, out. my I'm man Holly. Bomb. Holly, bomb going everybody. crazy. That's an awful lot of Holly. Hey, 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 hey. hey, hey. Yo, look, like, I kept it motivational. Next time, I'm on everybody ass. Oh, shit. And next time, I want smoke. Everybody dead. I want smoke with you too, cause you be wildin'. Everybody dead? Everybody shot. Everybody shot? Everybody no, shot. No, no, I kept no. motivational. This introduction, you're at but next Holly time. TV and the Dundatas. We here. Yeah, let's go. Hey. Shout out Adam, man. Holly, you the man. No jumper. Coolest podcast. Like, comment, subscribe. Yes, sir. Don. Don. Julio. <laughs>